Councillor Keith Conley, you have two minutes. Thanks, Lord Mayor. Um, my motion relates to the very serious issue of grass cutting. Last year, a number of changes were made to the contract, which now means that grass verges outside individuals' homes are no longer included or cut by the council or contractors. This is public property, which should be maintained by the council. And while I acknowledge and would like to thank the very many residents, associations and groups who cut their own grass, I firmly believe it should be a choice and the residents shouldn't be forced to cut public grass. Most councils here attend the Neighbourhood Awards, a great evening, great event. The feedback I get from those groups are yet more of a burden on us. We're meant to be doing enhancements, planting, improving our areas, and we have to do basic uh, functionally cut, cutting the grass now. There are many legal questions to be answered. For example, if a resident is cutting the grass, what happens? If a stone hits a car, for example, if uh, someone's cutting it with an electric lawnmower and the cables across the public pavement. Um, so this seems to have happened, I suppose, without much consultation. There was a group set up um, a couple of years ago now to look at the contract of grass cutting, and that met a couple of times. Obviously, COVID happened, but we weren't really consulted, certainly as, as elected members uh, properly. Give you a couple of scenarios. Last year, I dealt with a 76 year old lady who had to pay 25 euro to cut a grass here just outside her home. I have been in touch with Les Moore, who is uh, sympathetic to the cause, but is, uh, I suppose, standing firm that uh, it has to be done on request. Um, we all know in different areas, sometimes you might have a grass fish that's larger, for example, someone could be small. Um, so I think it's a very, very big issue. And I'll ask the manager to revert to include grass verges. We have the new maps, we have the new contracts. So either we deal with ourselves or get contracts to do it as well. It's a very basic city function. Between weeding and grass cutting in the last three years in the council, we've seen a dramatic decrease. And it's certainly something that comes to doors all the time. We know pesticides are no longer allowed to be used, but certainly for grass cutting, it's a basic function. I'd ask members to support this motion. Thank you, Lord Mayor. Uh, members, I now know what the, the baby seal feels like. Um, the, uh, <laughs> um, so listen, I think probably that, that there's, there's no point in you know, me trying to counteract everything you've said because the motion is going to get passed but I think we need to um, as has been called for uh, to review uh, the operation um, so what I would like to suggest is that we get a representative group of elected members together and we workshop this out give two or three hours uh, you know, on the first occasion, and let's look at it because it, there needs to be a balanced discussion on this. Uh, everything from social enterprise involving community, because I think there's a great opportunity here, um, you know, in terms of how, as the Lord Mayor said, how we view what we live in. I'm a, I'm a landscape horticulturalist by profession, uh, and I come from an era where every blade of grass was cut once a week uh, it was manicured uh, and it did damage. We thought we were doing wonderful things, but it does do damage. There's a difference between, I suppose, being unkempt and being, you might say, progressive in our approach towards uh, environmental protection. Um, and so, with your, with your permission, Lord Mayor, I'd like to suggest that we get a, uh, I say, a representative group of the elected members and a few people from Parks, uh, myself included, and let's have an open and honest discussion about how we're going to do this going forward. I'm very happy to, to form a working group, um, and I thank the manager for his response. I suppose in the interim, could there be a cut on request by resident association or through local areas, or uh, is there some kind of compromise? Because I don't want to have a working group going on for three or four or five months, and I am aware that we're the only local authority that actually cuts the grass outside uh, people's homes. That's something to be welcomed. We're the largest local authority in the country. We pay the most property tax. Like down the country, you don't have lights on some roads. Are we going to start removing lights now to be with them? I think it's, it's a very basic function, so I'd like the manager to respond to that, please. Um, yeah, I, th I think the park superintendent has, has been open to where he gets requests, he will facilitate them. That's, you know what I mean? So now, and if that's not the case, because that's the information I have, well then I want to know. Okay, so um, when you're, when you might say, and uh, I'll, I'll, I'll establish a, a specific uh, email address, which you can circulate to residents associations, uh, looking, look, looking for 
that particular uh, function to be afforded to people who, who want to avail of it. Okay, 